Hello guys, what is up? This is UK Joker here, and today I have a Power Star Golf review. This is the game that you pick up on the marketplace on the Xbox One for about £15, I think. I got it on the deal, which was last week or two weeks ago. And yeah, I've been playing it. I'm going to let you guys know if it's worth it. So, as you can see on the screen now, there is quite a lot of customization that you can do. You can customize your caddy, you can customize your golfer. Well, I'll take a look at the golfers. There's quite a lot to choose from as well. And they all have, as you can see in the bottom left corner, they all have their different attributes that they're better and worse at. And you unlock these by beating them. And you can also change the gear they wear, which is pretty cool. And then the next thing is you can change your golf clubs. And if you've played FIFA Ultimate Team, you'll be quite familiar with packs. So this is a similar sort of thing. You buy packs and you hopefully get like decent golf clubs. Obviously, the better packs cost more. And it's quite hard to get the bigger ones. But yeah, that is the customization part of the game, which is good because everyone wants customization. You also have boosters which is good because that helps you quite a lot, really, because it is quite a tricky game, I'm not going to lie. This game is quite hard, but once you get used to it and into it, it is quite a good game, especially for an arcade game. I don't know if any of you have played the PSP game, oh, what's it called, the golf game on there, but it is very similar to that, but on the bigger screen, so if you're a big fan of that one, then definitely pick this up. Okay, so we've got an achievement there. The achievements on this game are fairly tricky. You've got to play quite a bit to get them all. But hopefully, once you get into it, you will want to play it quite a lot. Because it is a good game, it's just quite hard. So, you simply just press A to make the power meter go up. And then A again to try and hit the uh, line right on target. And then that's like as if you're hitting the ball. So, I'm playing against this guy now. And this is how you unlock people by beating them so yeah the graphics as you can tell for an arcade game is quite good like they're not amazing you wouldn't expect that really but it's like a cartoony sort of graphics and it, they are good for a 15 pound game and boom so that was a nice shot sugar I thought we was going to hit that tree but yeah oh the the sound as well is pretty good does keep you engaged and there's quite a lot to do the only downfall is there's no online like proper online 1v1 I think you can be someone's caddy online I'm not sure I haven't really experimented with the online but I know that there's no actual online multiplayer which is a bit disappointing really because it, I think in a golf game online is sort of a must because you, it's not hard to do an online it's just one versus one so I think that could have been one thing that they've added but I guess for a arcade game they can't really add everything otherwise it would be like a full title and you'd have to pay the full amount 40 quid or however much they are nowadays oh the I think the hardest thing about this game is the putting trying to get the ball into that hole off the green it really does play games with you <laughs> as you can see he's pretty useless at it as well but I'm gonna probably do even worse so there you go you have to try and read the green and it is quite hard so that is another thing that I would say about this game is that it's tricky but on to the ratings now graphics wise I give it an 8 out of 10, considering it is an arcade game, of course. Sound-wise, I give it a 9 out of 10. I think the sound is quite good. I really like the sound. Uh, difficulty is a difficult game. I give it 6 out of 10. Oh, hello, we're still playing on. Oh, uh, I give it mm, 6 out of 10. Like It is a hard game. It would be better if it was a bit easier. But maybe when you unlock more people and stuff, it will become easier. Who knows? And overall, I give this game an 8 out of 10. It is definitely worth the money. I would go pick this up if I was you right now and play let's play some Power Star Golf. So, thank you for watching. If you did like this review, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other reviews. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.